Somebody from Catalonia contacted me recently and asked me to spread the word about the oppression going on there. Catalonia is a region within the country of Spain that I suspect most people in the United States have never heard of, but which is characterized by the same sort of oppression that has been on, ongoing with colonialism since colonialism began hundreds of years ago. So hers is among the many largely unknown stories. His or hers, actually, I don't know the sex of this person. So this is a story as old as colonialism itself. Most of us know about the Abos, the Aborigines in Australia, hunted until just a generation or two ago, treated as non-human animals. Most people in the United States, as I indicated, are unfamiliar with Catalonia, the region and the oppression that goes on there. But I suspect most people in the United States are also unfamiliar with the oppression, the genocide on which this country is founded. Were it not for genocide, this country would still belong to hundreds, perhaps thousands of bands and tribes of indigenous people. So, and that's horrible enough, but it's something over which you and I have no control because it happened long ago. However, it's happening right now. As pointed out from this acquaintance in Catalonia, it continues throughout much of Africa. It continues in many places throughout the world. Turning a blind eye does not make it go away. Acknowledging our privilege, which is enormous, and then taking further steps in light of that privilege is at least a first step in acknowledging, perhaps even overcoming, the common horrific outcomes of colonialism. At the age of extinction, only love remains.